Hello and welcome to USPC videos. Today I will show you on um, how to create an easy no-code solution to translate a document into a different language with just one click. Therefore we will use um, SharePoint designer workflows, custom actions and yeah of course SharePoint. My name is Dennis Hopmeyer. I'm senior consultant and working at Solutions to Share, specialized for provisioning and syncing site templates uh, in conjunction with a self-service portal. But now let's continue with our demo. As you can see, I've just created an empty team site. So I would like to create just a single button uh, in the context menu item where a business user can translate a document into a different language. In the back end, it will use the machine translation service, which is already pre-configured in the cloud. Let's start with a new document and provide an example. So I'm just doing copy and paste with some example. So we have a document now having uh, containing English text, and because we have a, like a project, we would like to I translate this into German. As you can see, there's no default out of the box uh, method how you can translate it. So, start with a workflow. So, I'm just choosing Edit Library. I have SharePoint Designer installed locally already. Make sure that we have opened our document library and we will start with a workflow. Make sure that we are using a SharePoint 2013 workflow. And this will be a very easy workflow. Translate is the name of the step. And here we already have default action, translate document. We will choose the current item. We need to specify a language, so as I'm located in uh, Germany, Austria, I will choose German and the result, which we will store in the same document library. How to proceed with the next uh, step? Let's go to the next stage. Um, for better um, workflow status, we will add an additional stage. Set this to finished and here go to and here we will end the workflow and then the as an action we will set the workflow history. Lock to history translation finished. Okay, that's all. Save and publish. So it's important that we're also publishing that so that the workspace is available. Done. Let's go back to our document library. We will see that the workflow has, has been available and uh, currently for manual start. So we could already start translating document by choosing a right click on the document, advanced workflows, then I need to start it manually. So I would like to create a one click solution. So let's create a custom action now. So that's a method where you can add a button. And um, you can either choose from that menu directly in here, but that's a little limited as you only have list, well, basically the context menu item available, while if you choose the one above in the ribbon, you have the list item, which is exactly the same like this, and you have also a different kind of forms where you can add the button. Um, so I will start with the list item menu. And initiating a workflow is exactly what I would like to achieve. I can add a button which I've already um, prepared, but 
I need to upload it on my sites. So <clears throat> my icons are very, yeah, as you can see, full color, nothing special. So you can choose a one which is a bit nicer, but just to see, uh, to show you the concept basically after uploading, yeah, I need to refresh that one. So SharePoint Designer detects the change. Back to my documents. Side assists. Yeah, now it works fine. Initiate workflow rights mask. So we would like everyone, uh, so everyone which should have edit permissions uh, should be able to run this kind of action. So I'm choosing edit list items. Uh, it's creating a new document in that library anyway. So with, uh, with less permissions, it doesn't work. And if you have more items available, you can also enable sorting. Okay, save that. I've, I've added that, it's saved immediately. So now if I'm refreshing this page now, having my context menu, now it has been already finished. Document DE, so let's open that one. Um, and as you can see, my English text has now been translated into German. Perfect, exactly achieved what I wanted to achieve. So I would like to give you another example. Let's say we are choosing the view ribbon. So it's available in that ribbon after you're doing a selection. We are initiating the same workflow. Can provide a description. Therefore, we have now two icons available. And confirm. So now the difference after I refresh the page is now if I select the document, I have the same functionality available from this area as well. So create another new document. So let's support myself. And start translating that one. But now we're choosing the button from the top ribbon bar. So and after a certain amount of time, it has finished the translation and it should um, change the status for the translation workflow status soon as well, which is done now. And yeah, finally have a look at the translated document. If it's now German, perfect. Yeah, it's now translated successfully into German. So to summarize, we have seen on how to use a SharePoint Designer workflow or SharePoint 2013 Designer workflow um, using the machine translation service in the back end and creating a custom action to make it very easy for the business user to create um, an action and enhance the available menus. So thank you for listening and see you at European SharePoint Conference 2016 in Vienna, where I will have a track about migrating to SharePoint Online using the PowerShell migration package, which is pretty much for free and uses Azure file storage in the backend. You can save 10% using the following code ESPC16DH. And yeah, looking forward to see you. Um, here you'll also find my contact details just in case if you have any further questions. Have a good day and bye-bye.